everybody! Welcome to From Tanzania to Norway. So this summer we had an opportunity to travel to a very exciting place in Vestfold district that is in, the, is in the southern of Norway with a climbing park called Höytoloft or in English you can say high and low and very beautiful glass cabins. So this place is right next to the river banks of Numedals Logan, as you can see, and it's one of the Norwegian's longest rivers, just one hour drive from Oslo city. So this is the place where you can relax and get close to nature and enjoy the amazing surrounding. Welcome to our glass cabin. So this is where we live. These glass cabins are made of glass walls. So when you are inside, you can, you can see the whole of outside, the trees, the river down there. But when you are outside, you just see yourself. It's, it's just like a mirror. This is uh, the, uh, the other side of it. It's a very beautiful place to sit when it's sunny, uh, you just relax or maybe sleep on the net while listening to the nature sounds, the birds chipping, you know. So beautiful. Unfortunately, that day it was raining, so it looks a bit boring, I can say. So this is a sitting place, like a sitting room. Uh, the kitchen, the bathroom, and sleeping room. So you can enjoy the view of the sky from your pillow to the glass roof in the bedroom. Guys, look at that. So beautiful. So there's sliding doors uh, and when you slide the door, you just invite the sound of nature like that. So in addition, there's no access to Wi-Fi in the cabin. So it's something like you have the total rural experience. So high and low, or in uh, Norwegian called Høytoloft, is a climbing park that's located on the same area with the glass cabin. So it has uh, challenges of various degrees and of all ages. My daughter Maya is uh, 140 in height, centimeters, so she's allowed to join. There's a certain height that is not allowed. So you can check the courses and see which one is, is fits for you. This is one of the longest zip line that crosses the river. So this, I can say, is one of the diff most difficult levers that's located on the area. So before people start uh, going to the courses, there's a training that's offered to the visitors before they continue to the trails, uh, where they can experience the exciting world from high in the treetops. We started the, one of the lowest levels, it was very exciting. So I can say this is one of the easiest obstacle, but the other ones are much more difficult. So in total there are 14 courses, 200 obstacles and 1,900 1, meters of zip lines. When you start, you cannot go back. And it's allowed to be three people on the, on the tree stop. As you can see there, we are three. So when I'm leaving, then someone else is leaving from the other course. 
So it's allowed to be one person in one obstacle. If someone else starts with you, then it's going to be like disturbed and it's not stable. This was a very beautiful day. It was, very, uh, it was sunny and hot actually, but uh, the area is covered with trees and it feels much cooler and very beautiful. playing with iPad or something like that, you take your kids out in a, a climbing park and enjoy the day. So this is pretty much uh, the whole day we spent in the climbing park. So from training calls and then uh, climbing and you can take a break and eat. So uh, it takes pretty much the whole day. So it's not just family activities, some uh, companies take their workers to uh, a place like this just to enjoy. It's very, very good activity. This company, Hoitola, it was designed by this uh, person who had family and he was thinking just the way he can take his kids out in summer and enjoy outside in the nature and he created this. So Hoi to Laft is one of the biggest climbing park found in, uh, in the Scandinavia. And they also built one in Russia and, and Finland. So there's a lot of zip lines. Others are very long, others are very short. And this one hangs much higher up. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Oh, 
some obstacles are really difficult, especially this one that um, that's my daughter is going through. It's it's one of the difficult ones. On this climbing pack, you are really safe because you are holding yourself with, as you can see, this purple one that's hanging on the zip line. It's holding you, and then when you take a zip line, for example, you put another one on top of it. So in case you fall or you lose control, there's always um, something that's going to hold you up. So as I said before, that this is a total exercise. Uh, you use the, uh, all the muscles in your body to hold yourself or... You feel safe, yes, but um, there's this instinct that gets you, hold yourself and uh, get through the courses. So you can see some adults up there, they are taking one of the, one of the hardest. And this one is over. There is water running around, some small channels of water. And I think this is very beautiful. Are you good? Yeah. Shelf again. My daughter enjoyed it so much. She was very happy about it. So this is one of uh, the places that the kids can play, like babies, like uh, Linnea. It's very safe. <laughs> so there's a ball in there and you kids can just play with it. I can see my daughter was, uh, was very scared <laughs> to stand up, so I went and sit with her. We finished the day by having a ice cream. If you see the tower, this tower is where some of the hard obstacles start. It's the longest zip line that goes over the river. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Uh, this is from Tanzania to Norway. And I'm happy to introduce to you my new channel. It's called Alice in Food Wonderland. So all the food and kitchen activities I will put in that channel. Thank you so much and see you in the next one. Bye!